Dear students, now we are going to solve one important problem in Maxwell's equation. An electric field in a medium which is source free is given by E is equal to 1.5 cos of 10 to the power 8 e minus beta z ax volt per meter. Find B, H and D. So here they have given us the electric field intensity of a medium E and we are going to find out the magnetic flux density B, magnetic field intensity H and electric flux density D. So first we are going to write the given data. Here the given data is electric field intensity is equal to 1.5 cos of 10 to the power 80 minus beta Z AX. So in this one the medium is source free medium. So we can assume the epsilon R value is equal to 1, mu R is equal to 1 and its conductivity is equal to 0. Okay. So first we are going to find out the electric flux density D. So for that we can consider the relation between the electric flux density and electric field intensity as we all know that D is equal to epsilon into E. So here epsilon is nothing but epsilon naught into epsilon R. So here we can simply substitute epsilon R value as 1 epsilon naught value as 8.854 into 10 to the power minus 12 E value as 1.5 cos of 10 to the power 8 T minus beta Z. Simply we can multiply this 8.854 and this 1.5 we can get the electric flux density D is equal to 13.28 into 10 to the power minus 12 cos of 10 to the power 8 T minus beta Z. So this is the electric flux density value. Do you all understand this one? So next we are going to find out the magnetic flux density. So for that we can consider the Maxwell's second equation. So what is Maxwell's second equation? Del cross E vector is equal to minus dB by dt. So this is the Maxwell's second equation. So first we are going to find out this left hand side del cross E vector then equate that value to this right hand side. So del cross E vector is equal to AX AY AZ dou by dou X dou by dou Y dou by dou EZ. Here E vector value is what? So its value is 1.5 cos of 10 to the power 8 T minus beta EZ AX. So it is having the value only for this AX component. So we can write this AX value as 1.5 cos of 10 to the power 80 minus beta Z. The remaining values are 0. Then we can solve this curl operation. Then we can get AX bar of here we can take the cross multiplication. Its value becomes 0. Correct. So next we can take minus AY. Correct. So minus AY of we can take this value that is nothing but 0 minus of dou by dou z of this value. Then the last one is plus a z bar of and take the cross multiplication of this two. This term becomes 0. Then we can get minus dou by dou a of this term. There is no y term. So obviously this term becomes 0. Do you all understand this one? Then we can get del cross e vector is equal to a x of 0 minus a y of minus dou by dou z 1.5 cos of 10 to the power 8 t minus beta z plus here this a z term becomes 0. Correct? So 0 minus dou by dou y of this term there is no y term obviously it becomes 0. Correct? So del cross e vector is equal to a y vector the value is 1.5 we can take it outside dou by dou z of cos of 10 to the power 8 t minus beta z. So this term can be considered as cos of A minus B. Then the formula is what? Cos A cos B plus sin A sin B. So this cos of A minus B can be written like this. We can write 1.5 dou by dou Z of cos 10 to the power T cos beta Z plus sin 10 to the power A T sin beta Z into A Y. Okay. So in the next step we are going to differentiate this expression with respect to Z. Then we can get 1.5 into, we can write this term as such cos 10 to the power 8 t. We can differentiate with respect to z. 
So differentiation of this cos beta z is nothing but minus sin beta z into beta. So we can write like this. Then this side. Here we can take the sin 10 to the power 80 as z. Differentiate this sin beta z. So differentiation of sin is nothing but plus cos. We can write cos beta z into beta. Okay. So in the next step we can simplify this one. So 1.5 into minus beta cos 10 to the power 80 sin beta z plus beta sin 10 to the power 80 cos beta z ay. Okay. So here beta is a common term. We can take it outside. For further simplification we can take minus as well from this expression. So this can be written as del cross e vector is equal to minus 1.5 beta. So this term becomes plus since we have taken the minus outside. So here this plus becomes minus. Do you all understand this one? So in the next step we can equate this del cross e vector is equal to minus db by dt. So according to Maxwell's second equation del cross e vector is equal to minus db by dt. So we can equate the right hand side as well. So minus db by dt is equal to minus 1.5 beta into cos 10 to the power 80 sin beta z minus sin 10 to the power 80 cos beta z ay. So next we are going to find out this b alone that is magnetic flux density. For that we are going to integrate on both the sides with respect to t. So here we can take the integration. So integration of db by dt is equal to b that is equal to 1.5 beta integration of here t is getting integrated we can keep this value as constant. So integration of cos value is nothing but sin. So sin 10 to the power 80 into 10 to the power 8 we can take this value right. So into sin beta z minus integration of sin is nothing but minus cos. So minus of minus cos 10 to the power 80 into 10 to the power 8 cos beta z as such. So next we can write the same expression here minus into minus plus. We can take this 10 to the power 8 as a common one. So here 1.5 into 10 to the power 8 beta sin 10 to the power 80 sin beta z plus cos 10 to the power 80 cos beta z. So this term can be replaced with cos of a minus b. Correct. So sin a sin b plus cos a cos b is nothing but cos of a minus b. So we can write the magnetic flux density b is equal to 1.5 into 10 to the power 8 beta into cos of 10 to the power 80 minus beta z vapor per meter squared or tesla. Do you all understand this one? Next we are going to find out the magnetic field intensity. So here we can take the relationship between b and h. So magnetic flux density is equal to mu into magnetic field intensity. From this we can find out this magnetic field intensity. So h is equal to b by mu. Mu can be written as mu naught into mu r. Mu r value is 1 here. So here h is equal to b value is 1.5 into 10 to the power 8 beta cos of 10 to the power 8 t minus beta z divided by mu naught value is 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 then we can get the answer as 0 0.1194 into 10 to the power 15 beta cos of 10 to the power 80 minus beta z. So this is the magnetic field intensity value. So this problem is very important. We can expect this problem in university exam as well. Okay.